Okay. Let's see if we got sound. Yes. Okay, testing. Okay, good. This is a kit that I picked up today. And it's the Tamaya I-400 submarine. It's made by Tamiya. Um, it's a 1 350th scale. And let me just fix the light. It's a bit bright. I'm used to building aircraft. Looks like uh, two aircraft there in each one. So that's four aircraft. And we have uh, uh, the deck and the main superstructure on top with a uh, cylinder that actually held the aircraft in. It was obviously airtight. Nicely detailed. See all the rivet marks and everything in there. That should come up really nice. And we've got some more pieces here. All little bits and pieces to go on the outside. The aerials, the rudders. Um, looks like the front of the submarine there. It's got the guns. Very nice. Uh, we have some photo etch. Look at that. Looks like uh, the propellers for the aircraft. Uh, some of the rest of the bits and pieces on the outside of the submarine. I'm not familiar with submarines. This will be the first submarine I've ever built. So, not too sure what the main parts things are, but here we go. Here's the hull. And, uh, again, it's nicely detailed. Quite small, I think it's only 30 centimeters long. So it's going to be a little bit fiddly to work with. Let's see what else we have here. The box art's quite good. Um, and some detailed pictures of it there. This was also the largest submarine um, for its time. 122 meters long and 12 meters wide. Um, the reason it was so wide was it was almost two submarines in one side by side. Uh, this was to manage to keep the um, the extra weight on top where the uh, aircraft sit in the cylinder uh, from making it top head heavy and rolling over in the water. So having a, a wider hull made it more stable. Uh, a lot of unique features of this submarine that was all new for its time, well ahead of its time. So in here we have uh, uh, some of the parts for the stand. There's the stand. Basic looking little stand. Uh, this is um, lead weights. There's two lead weights in there. They sit in the bottom of the submarine to keep give it some weight. They're quite heavy, so that'll be good. Um, and we've got the uh, nameplate in Japanese and English. Um, flags, Japanese flags. Underneath we've got the decals for the submarine and probably the aircraft as well. Um, instructions, tips. 
visual stuff. And we've got the manual. Okay. Some history of the submarine. Painting, painting tips. Go into get this out of the way. There we got the assembly of the um, the hull onto the stand. Got the metal plates that will go in for the weight. Um, this has a, a rudder that actually moves. Um, I think there's some also uh, the crane arm which lifts up, up and down on the deck. Propellers together, uh, putting the aircraft together, uh, touching the hangar rail, where the aircraft will fit inside the tube. Um, the hangar tube, which I actually thought in this kit was um, you could actually see inside. So I don't know if this has the option of leaving one side off and open so you can see the aircraft in there. Um, we'll see as I build that later. Um, then we got the Koning Tower deck with uh, all the binoculars on top and the, there's a 42 and 44 millimeter guns. Periscope all goes on there. Very, very small parts in this. So there's the catapult to be attached onto the front of the deck. Uh, what else we got? Hull, parts on the hull. aircraft instructions on applying the decals uh, front driving rudder which will rotate it's torpedoes but includes torpedoes in the kit but there's actually nowhere actual of the fitting in the instructions for the torpedoes so I'm not sure where they go or what to do with those um, We've got uh, all the decals for the aircraft, and this is a nice coloured section here that shows the internal areas of the um, submarine, where all the machine room, officers' quarters were, all the crew quarters, food storage, supply rooms, everything. Really interesting stuff all through there. And then we have the painting and marking guide, which uh, is the usual hull red. Uh, we got uh, the grey, and uh, most of this will be airbrushed. Now, with this kit, I've also purchased the detail up set from Infinity. And this includes lots of photo etch in there. Uh, and also a wooden deck. So I'll look what we got here. Okay, so lots of photo etch. 
tiny photo etch. And then we've got the wooden deck, which will will go on. And I think it's actually painted grey, but in the photo it shows it looking the wood colour. I can't imagine a wood deck staying that colour on a submarine. Uh, yeah, we'll have to get some um, footage and see what that's really going to look like. Uh, we've got instructions in here for the photo etch and everything. So it's uh, 11 pieces for the wooden deck. Shows where all that goes on. All the photo etch. Aircraft crane. Looks nice. 25mm gun. There's railings. That's good. There's also in here uh, brass parts. So let's have a look what we've got there. Get these out. Okay, so we've got a uh, main mask. Have a look at that. I don't know if that's going to. I don't see that too well, but in there is the main mast, hatch cover, 40 centimeter gun barrel, 14 cent sorry, 14 centimeter gun pedestal, uh, 25 millimeter single gun barrels, uh, triple gun base, propeller spinner. Aircraft crane spindles. Yeah, lots of pieces there. Um, hatch cover. All right. Lots of little bits. Um, shows you all the placements of all these. It's going to be fun. No, I can do that. There we go. All right, so we can put all this, you can see that, uh, propellers for the aircraft, canopy covers for the aircraft, uh, the frame that the aircraft sits on, lots of bits to that, it's like the uh, ramp has sections there, a few holes to make holes to drill, uh, guns, lots of bits there, hatch covers, all right, okay, that's that, all right, so that covers that, hopefully I will start that um, later this week and um, and start building it uh, if you want to uh, subscribe to the channel and hit reminder and you'll get a reminder when I um, start on the build and um, that's about it okay thanks for watching and uh, we'll see you next time Okay, so here's the completed I-400 Japanese submarine. It's all been detailed and weathered. Let's have a look along the edge here. And, uh, Stay in focus or not. There we go. As you can see, there's a plane on the, the float plane.
on the launch ramp. Inside there is the tube where they held the, the other three aircraft are sitting. You can just see the propeller of one. They are actually built, the three planes are inside there. Well, they sealed in, you won't be able to see them. There's the training tower with all the equipment on there. Way a bit. There you go. Yeah, they're a pretty filthy, dirty submarine at the time. It was quite a good kit to build. The photo etch guns and so forth are quite a bit of detail in them. You can see that tube along there. It uh, came with a an extra plane that I painted up. Just gonna focus. Yeah, I didn't detail. I didn't weather it at all, but just a spare plane. So, yeah. There you go. Anyway, thank you for watching. Uh, if you liked the video, hit the thumbs up. If you'd like to make a comment, leave a comment below. Ask a question if you like. Um, subscribe to the channel if you want to get updates on the videos as I release.